All right, Boris is out. Tory leadership contest. What do you need to know? The first thing you need to know, and I think the most important thing, if you take away one thing from this video is, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna affect you. It's not gonna improve your economic circumstances. It's not gonna fix the cost of living crisis. It's not gonna make it easier to pay your bills. It's not gonna make it easier to feed your family or to eat your home this winter. And I can explain why in two simple numbers. First number, 450 billion. This is the total amount of money which has gone from the government to the rich and the super rich in the last two and a half years. Second number, 15 billion. This is the total amount of money which the government is offering to support ordinary families through the cost of living crisis once you account for the fact that they've raised your taxes. So let's compare these two numbers, right? 450 billion, that's 10,000 pounds for every single adult in the country. All went to the rich, so each one of them is getting 102,000 pounds. 15 billion pounds, well that's 30 times less, so it's about 300 pounds for every adult in the country. The key thing to realize is the government caused the 450 billion pound problem of inequality. That money went to the rich. And now they're trying to fix it with just 15 billion pounds, 30 times less. The amount of money gone from the government to the rich is 30 times more than the amount of money they're giving you to fix it. What does that mean? Well, if you try putting a 15 billion pound sticking plaster on a 450 billion pound wound, basically, you're not going to fix the problem. And none of the Tory leadership candidates, and I suspect probably no one in the Tory party, is serious about fixing that problem. If you want to fix that problem, you need to start taking serious amounts of money from the rich and giving it to ordinary people. Remember, 450 billion pounds would be 10,000 pounds for every single adult in the country. Imagine if the government gave you 10,000 pounds cash now, how much that would help you. Well, they've done that for the rich and they're not going to fix it. Okay, so number one, it doesn't matter. It's not going to fix your problems. So stop paying attention to it. It's a circus. These guys are dancing around telling you they're going to help you. At the same time, they're making themselves richer and you poorer. What should you be focusing on? You should be focusing on your money, your wealth, your family's money, your family's wealth, your community's money, your community's wealth. These are the things you should be focusing on. And this is the way you should be looking at it, okay? If you're old enough to have kids, you should be looking realistically at your financial situation and your kids' financial situation. And you should be asking yourself, are my kids going to be able to live in a better house than I live in now? Are they going to be able to afford to own more and, and better quality property than I own? Are they going to have a much, much bigger mortgage than I ever had? Or are they going to be able to afford to live a good life without taking massive amounts of debt? And if you're younger, you should be comparing yourself to your parents. Am I going to be able to live in a better property than them? Am I going to be able to become richer than them in terms of actual ownership of wealth? Am I going to be able to live a life without taking a massive mortgage? And I think if most of you look realistically, you are going to see that generation after generation, ordinary people are losing their homes and being forced into more and more debt. And you need to ask yourself then, okay, well... If we're losing our homes, where are the homes going? Who owns the homes now? Right? Those homes are not disappearing. And if we're getting into more and more and more debt, well, who are we going into debt to? You can't be in debt to no one. Right? If you are in debt, then you are in debt to somebody, right? So if we're losing, ordinary families in this country are losing their homes and going into debt, somebody has to be getting richer and richer and richer because somebody has to be owning that debt and owning those properties. And who is it? Well, look in the last three years what has happened, right? The average billionaire has increased their wealth by 30, 40, 50%. Unbelievably rapid increases in billionaire and millionaire wealth. People like Rishi Sunak, who is one of the richest men in the country, is worth over 700 million pounds, according to the Times Rich List, have massively, massively increased their wealth. While ordinary families, increasingly, can't afford to turn their heating on. So here we have a situation where a political party full of extremely wealthy people who have presided over a system where they have gotten massively richer during a crisis where half the country can no longer afford to feed and heat their families are telling you, don't worry guys, we've got this, we're changing the face on the label, we're going to sort everything out. Don't believe it, these guys are taking your assets. These guys are taking your homes. These guys are putting you into debt, so turn it off, turn it off, 
I don't care if his name is Rishi or Penny or Kemi. Honestly, I don't care. None of these guys are going to help you. None of these guys are going to help you. But what it does show is that these guys are organized. Okay, they know you don't trust Boris anymore, so we're going to put a new face on it. We're going to put a new face on it and we're going to tell you everything's going to be fine. They're organized. They've got a media strategy. Billionaires own the newspapers and they're going to tell you, look, everything's fine, everything's going to get better. And why are they telling you that? Because these guys are getting richer and richer and richer by taking your assets. So of course they don't want you to push back. They're organized, they've got a media strategy, they understand we need to change the name on the label every now and again to convince people that even though things are getting worse now, things are going to get better. Well, it's a lie, you need to understand these guys are super rich, they have an organized strategy to take your wealth. So keep an eye on your wealth, your family's wealth and your community's wealth. Make sure that instead of that wealth going to them, we're starting to get wealth back from them. And how do we do it? Well, these guys are organized, they've got a strategy, they're trying to convince you that everything's okay and everything's going to get better. You need to be organized as well. Look, these guys have the money, they own the media. We are never going to be as funded as them. We're never going to own the media like they do. The only power we, we really have is that there's more of us. There's much more of us. But we only use that power if we act together. They want us to fight amongst each other and argue over the little bit that is left for us. But if we come together and push back, we can start taking wealth and assets and money back from these people. But we can only do it if we come together. So, message to take away from this, turn the TV off, ignore these people. They're just selling you lies, but they're taking your houses. The way to take these houses back is to convince and educate your friends, your family and your community about what's happening. We're losing our wealth. They're taking it. The only way to take it back is to unite, to understand, and to push back. And I'm trying to do that here on this channel, so please share it with your friends, share it with your family. And um, yeah, man, let, let's get our kids' houses to live in, because they're going to need them. Thank you. Keep watching. Happy? Because we are draining the resources of this economy and giving it to the super rich who do not pay any tax. Yeah, he's my boy, man. He's my boy. I like, I like to see a billionaire just take the mask off for once and just directly rob everyone. <laughs> yeah.